Hi folks, this is John Frazier. Hope you're doing well today. I'm with uh, Tulsa Panorama and um, 360 Virtual Web Designs and BYD Hosting. And um, through BYD Companies, we're a, a conglomerate of, of three different companies that operates basically the, um, the Google Virtual Tours for your business, uh, where Street Maps leaves off on uh, Street View. We actually connect your Street View directly to the inside of your business to um, bring a virtual tour inside, allow customers to see inside. So one of the things that happens is, um, as part of we're setting all this stuff up, is um, you need to get your Google profile, your Google Plus profile for your business set up properly. If you set it up improperly, um, your page is going to get suspended. Uh, I set this up for you so you can actually see that and you know walk you through a couple of steps to help you get it um, reactivated because once your page is suspended it will not show up in Google search results at all so um, let me just walk you through this real quick just just to, should just take a few minutes the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and log in to um, you know just go to Google or gmail.com or Google um, and let's see here As a matter of fact I'm gonna go to local dot google.com uh, sorry so plus dot google.com slash local okay it's gonna bring up if you have a gmail account if not you definitely want to have a, a gmail account to be able to find your company and you know get all your Google services working together if you know to be able to be found so I'm gonna go ahead and log in to my uh, Google account very first thing that's gonna come up is this page here which is my Google Plus personal account. Um, on the left hand side you're going to see over here a section called pages. You want to go ahead and click on the pages. I do manage a number of different companies and, and people's pages just either helping them out or, or uh, on, a, on a fee basis but let's go down to here's a company I'm not um, doing much of any work with anymore. Um, it's a, a business my wife has been running for a while but she tore her rotator cuff so that has now been kind of on the back burner and retired. But let's go ahead and manage this page. You click on that, and you'll see right here at the very top, Google has suspended your page due to quality issues. Get help. Okay. So some of the quality issues could be that if you have, um, for example, doctors and uh, you know different. Some businesses have multiple specialities. So Google will only let you have one plus page per specialty. If you have a specific reason, like for example, BYD Companies um, has been upholstery repair. Uh, it's been Tulsa Panorama, uh, it's uh, um, BYD hosting to host businesses, websites and things like that, a like number of different things. So if you have something like that, you have to get special approval to get a second profile for your business attached to a Google Plus page. So here's one of the issues. Um, I guess they uh, matched up my address here with Tulsa Panorama, which happens to be a home-based business as well out of my home here. and. Um, uh, so what you do is you simply uh, come up here to get help or even before that let me go back to that for a second um, if you click on edit your information you want to make sure that your business name is how your customers see you like BYD you know commercial upholstery repair that's what we do and upholstery repair is the name of the business um, location of our of the home office and then I added a um, I, I took away the primary domain name and I'm hosting it somewhere else so I actually changed my domain name here and updated a couple things um, but I found it was um, still having some errors connecting and I and that's when I did some research and read some of the documentation and it says that um, you, know, you can't have more than one business address per uh, you cannot have more than one business address for different business unless you are multiple specialities so let's go ahead and say it done with editing here and let's go up to get help so let me make the screen a little bit bigger so you can see it. So the Google My Business local or Google My Business local request reinstatement request here. Um, it's going to ask you are the official representative of the company? Yes, I am. Did you read the contact uh, content and conduct policy policy? So what you have to do is you know just you can open it up into a new window. Um, just review this. Make sure that there's nothing in here that. Um, you know that you're that you're accidentally doing uh, regards to goods and services uh, promotions recording potential issues um, additional terms terms of use custom URLs let's go here um, agent relationship binding to others okay so let me go back 
close that out. And so make sure you read it, make sure your page is in compliance. If you said, did you read it? You are in compliance, you click on yes. Did you read the Google My Business Quality Guidelines? Again, you can open that in a new tab, go take a look at that. And uh, eligible businesses. In order to qualify, a business must make in-person contact with customers during stated hours. So in-person meaning either customers are coming to your, lo your location or you're going to their location. Um, exception would be these few things here. ATMs, video rental kiosks, express mail, uh, mailboxes are permitted. If you add these locations, you must include contact information for customers to get help. Um, businesses that are not eligible for local page or businesses that are under construction. Uh, rent, rental or for sale properties, vacation homes, apartments, sales or leasing offices, ongoing service classes or meeting location you don't own or have the opportunity to represent. Um, you do have to have ownership of the business. Uh, the business name should reflect your real world business name used consistently in a storefront, website, stationery, and known to customers. Okay, You must use a precise, accurate business location. No PO boxes can be used. Um, website phone. Uh, you need a phone number that connects to your individual business location as directly as possible. Uh, provide one website that represents that location. Um, let's see. Use a local phone number instead of a central call center. Uh, let's see here. Categories. You as few, use as few categories as possible. Describe your overall core business from the provided list. Um, and that is, this is probably the biggest key that most people uh, don't really get right. So I'm going to have another uh, training that goes over that. So let's go back. And did you read the quality guidelines? Yes, I did. Is your organization permanently located at the address near the page? Yes, it is. Have you entered an accurate street address? Um, PO boxes are not acceptable. Yes, I did. Uh, does your business operate in the service area? You're authorized to represent the business or travel to a customer's location? Yes, I am. Uh, do you conduct face-to-face -face business at your location? Yeah, I do sometimes. Do you have multiple pages for the same location? No. Okay. So I'm going to put the business name, uh, my name in here. Uh, official business name, BYD Companies. And I'll put it here. Bolster repair, official phone number of the business, right there. What is your official Google Plus page? So um, my official Google Plus page for this site here is that. So I'm going to copy the URL address there. I'm going to go ahead and put that into that spot. Have you changed your page since it was suspended? I updated the web site address um, additional specific information of your website I removed our toll free number let me see if it's still there so yeah I just left our primary number and info BYD, that's our main email for that. Okay. Additional information, that's it. Okay, so just gonna get my page of error. I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. Okay. And so this is what's called a Google appeal. And uh, they will get back to you as soon as they can to the email address that you're logged into right here. So that's, for example, and this is for at gmail.com. That's my uh, primary email for Gmail. And let's see. That should be it. So hopefully that helps to show you how to uh, reinstate your website. Um, the other thing I do want to show you is in your introduction to your business right here, you need to make sure that your introduction uh, section stays to 200 characters or less, anything over that, um, and they're starting to get flagged for um, errors and or possible deletion. So keep this as small and limited to exactly what you do without being really, really verbose. Okay? All right, that's it. Hope you have a great day. Take care.